<laughs> Yo, what up guys? Happy 2021! Oh man, oh man, oh man, it feels good to be back on the bike. It's been one crazy ass winter, man. Normally I get out and ride a few times, but I didn't ride at all. I parked the bike. I got it out a couple times on nice days, started it, washed it in the driveway, though it doesn't look like it anymore. But, oh man, it's hard to believe that 12 days ago it was minus 25 when I woke up without a wind chill. Oh, I just realized I forgot to reset my trip odometer uh, just shy of 4,000 miles last year. I didn't ride all that much, man. That's, that's really crazy. I hope to ride a heck of a lot more this year. You know, part of the reason I didn't ride much last year is I was going through a bunch of, like, mental stuff. I was going through a divorce man that takes a lot out of a person physically and emotionally but that all got cleared away I had some other personal issues later on in the year but I, I I feel like I'm good man we got through 2020 which was a rough year personally and just worldwide with that COVID-19 bull crap you know dude what a stupid situation but then we went through we had a decently mild winter it wasn't super cold it was cold enough for me not to ride the bike but it wasn't super cold and then we had a crap ton of snow man nebraska set the second place record for the most snowfall in a 24 hour period with uh it was either 14 or 16 inches it was the second highest snowfall in 24 hours of all time since they started keeping track Oh, but I miss this beast, man. Ari, I'm so sad that I kept you parked away and just sitting cold in the garage all winter. But, I mean, now we got some decent weather today. It's going to hit 50 degrees in the end of February in Nebraska. Like, less than two weeks ago, it was minus 25 before a wind chill. Let's stretch our legs. Yeah, I honestly can't tell you guys when the last time I rode with snow still around was. That's crazy. What a crazy winter and previous year it's been, dude. This is, oh, I just, I'm probably gonna keep refocusing back to that topic because it was crazy. We all know it, but what else, what else is there to talk about? Without getting political. Man, I can't wait for spring when all of this dead brown hibernating grass starts to turn green all these trees start to bud this road is so depressing in the winter time man like oh and then we got the snow still like bye bye snow you're done it's it's spring now all right so this still cracks me up i mean we're how many months years into the pandemic it's been a year anniversary just the other day of the 14 days to flatten the curve where they wanted us to wear masks and uh this lady, no joke, is in her car by herself wearing a mask. Like, what's the point of that? You know, and I get it, it's a serious virus that if you contract it, it can do bad things to you, especially if you have pre-existing conditions. But here's the thing, I have pre-existing conditions that make me high risk. I had cancer in 2008, I'm in full remission of that. I have a high blood pressure and I smoke cigarettes. So. Therefore, you know, shouldn't I be at risk? I've taken like the most minimal precautions through this whole thing, and I don't think I've ever got it. If, if I did get it, it was before it was nationally publicized in December of 2018, or 2019 rather. And you know, I, I had a whooping cough for like three weeks, and I was tired. That's pretty typical in the winter time, you know, like when you catch the flu or any other winter-like thing because everybody's stuck inside. I don't know. But to counterpoint it, I had cancer in 2008. In 2009, we had H1N1. I never got that. But I will say that that hit a lot closer to home than this whole coronavirus ever did. Yeah, I know people that have gotten it. I know people that have recovered from it. I don't know anybody that's died from it. So let's go back to 2009 when we had H1N1. I worked at a bar in Minnesota. One of our bartenders got it. He didn't know he had it. He just thought he had a bad cold. His girlfriend went to the store to get like juice and medicine. She was gone 15 minutes, came home, he was dead in their bed. 
I lost a close friend and co-worker from that one that we didn't have to wear masks for. It wasn't as serious, so they say. All the experts say this is much, much worse. But if it's much, much worse, then how am I... How do I not know anybody that's died from it, you know? Everyone that I know that has gotten this has recovered. And I, I have a really hard time believing that it's the extra precautions, the social distancing, the face masks, coverings, the extra washing your hands. Man, if they had to tell you to wash your hands more because of a virus, you're not washing your hands enough in the first place. Like, let's be real. I remember in the late 90s, early 2000s when experts, medical experts, scientists, everything, they actually came out against the antibacterial hand sanitizer things, saying that this could make us sicker in the future because we're killing the actual good bacteria that might grow on our skin that helps contain and suppress the bad bacteria that might make us sick. I mean, if you overly wash yourself, you can tend to have worse medical and health problems than if you don't wash so much. I'm not saying don't wash your hands. That's not what I'm saying at all. But there is a level of doing too much and that'll let viruses and bacterias build antibodies to the good bacteria, which then it's no longer effective. And then we get stuck with this stupid shit where we have to freaking sell out of hand sanitizer, sell out of toilet paper. Not sure what's up with that one. I never had any diarrhea from this. I get diarrhea if I eat too much or if I eat too little. But yeah, sorry, too much information. I don't care. But you know what? Call me a cynic. Call me whatever you want. I don't care. I don't think we should have ever taken the whole like close down businesses, force people to wear masks and do the social distancing thing. Like, yeah, I get it. If you're worried about it, stay home. Don't force everybody. You can't do that. Like that's so unethical. But at the same point, the only way for us to build antibodies for this is to get exposure and to develop natural antibodies to it. And you know, I'm sorry, but it's natural selection in my mind. Like. How long are we gonna try to keep everybody alive and overpopulate our planet so we run out of resources faster? We congest all these major city areas with way too much crap, too many cars, way too many people. Like, I don't know, dude. I'm kind of torn. And you know, with that said, I'm not saying like let everybody die that gets it, but you can't feel bad about people that are sick dying I mean I'm not afraid to die and I, I don't know I had cancer I was prepared to die I I expected to die I had only a 40% chance of coming out on top I just feel like this whole pandemic was way too politically fueled from both sides and I really don't feel like it's as serious as everybody played it up to be that's all I'm saying but anyway, guys, it was nice to talk with you again. I haven't seen you in forever, and I hope to see a heck of a lot more of you this year. But yeah, I think that's about gonna be it, guys. I need to head home before my fingers start to go numb, because it still is a little cold. So I'll see you on the next one. Bye.